Travelling to Brighton, Spiral joined investigators of paranormal phenomena for an exploration around the historic Stanmer House. Whoa. <laughs> The original Stanmer estate was bought by Henry Pelham of Lewis in 1713, but the present building was constructed by his son from 1722 onwards and stands in the vast Stanmer Park. The Pelham family had a long association with the house and continued to live here until the death of the 8th Earl, John Buxton, who was killed in World War II. In 1942, Stanmer was requisitioned by the War Office and was later leased to the University of Sussex from 1961 to 1980. Finally, in 2004, after years of neglect, it was bought by Cherrywood Investments, who renovated the house into the stunning venue we see today. On this investigation, Spiral are guests of investigators of paranormal phenomena, and we are all eager to see if we can uncover some of Stanmere House's secrets. Okay, tonight we're at uh, Stanmere House, uh, just near Brighton. Uh, we've come here as guests of investigators of paranormal phenomena. Uh, we're here with the team, the normal spiral team, and uh, looking forward to doing this place. It's never been done before, so that's always interesting, for virgin territory. Um, I will be casting my sceptical eye over the evening's events, as I normally do. Um, but I hope you'll join us team and enjoy the video, and uh, we'll see you later. Hi, um, I'm John Sales, and I'm the founder of Investigators of Paranormal Phenomena. We're here at Stanmer House in Brighton, and I've invited Spiral Paranormal to join me for an investigation. Today we're at Stanmer Manor in Stanmer Park. A uh, beautiful old house and I know absolutely nothing about it until we go in. So, looking forward to yeah. it. And looking forward to talking to the man upstairs in the top window, who I know his name is Edward and that's as much as I do know. No, we were just saying that we've both picked, picked up, up on something thing. very, very similar. Yeah. I said I picked up on a male and female. And so did I. And so did Mandy. And you picked up on I've names. got a name, Edwin Verrill. And, Beryl. and a woman who lived here, her family were here, and her first name begins with a Z. And it's a weird name, like, it sounds like it should be, or it looks like in my head it should be Zaire, but it's not. Something similar. And we both agree Sydney that they're in their mid something. to late 20s. And it's from about 1850, 1860. Right, okay, we'll look into that. Well done. Joining me in Brighton are Patricia, Mandy, Al, Rosie, Nikki and new members of the Spiral team, Darren and Stu of UKPN Radio, as we start the night's vigils in one of the top four rooms. Yeah, it's very happy, very comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. A bit warm. It is a bit warm, isn't it? Well, apparently they've had to heat you all the way, so it could be a... In August, my goodness. <laughs> Still light outside, but we're going to try in the next room. We're feeling the, the, um, the atmosphere at the moment. No, it doesn't happen yet, because this is a fuller room than the other one, and obviously it's a smaller room. Happy to talk to you. I need the glasses on the centre of the table. Downstairs in the cellar. In the cellar? Yeah, it was whistly. Oh, really? Loud? Yeah. Loud enough. And my, like... Ger my German Shepherd wouldn't go down. Because no, all, 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 all the outside lights went off. And oh. when I went downstairs, the trips were blown, which normally means a bolt's blown. Yeah. Throws the switch over. I went down and switched them all back on. Check that the car park, all mm. the lights were still working. And then about an hour later, I went back down there. My German Shepherd wouldn't go down there. If you could do those things, can you come and communicate with us by moving the glass, please? Cool, awesome. Very Thank jump. you so much. <laughs> Thank you. And again, please, I know it takes a lot of energy. Use everyone's here in the room. Do you get a lady? I don't get a lady. I'm not getting anything at all, to be honest. Nothing. Are you no, a child? I'm getting, I'm getting sickness. That's all I've just got someone that's got phlegmy lungs. Are you a young child? That's why it's not Are you male? sporadic, the, the movement of the glass. 
Are you a man? Are you a man? Whoa, that was good. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting grass moved. Okay, any names? Yeah, 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 but it, it hasn't moved for that. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. I've already asked it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that came um, up my arm! Did it? Yeah. So you worked it. I just don't think it knows how to do it. No, that's exactly what I said earlier. Do you know what I mean? Because it's, never, it's never experienced people like no. us. You can't be saying, get, Mark, get on a motorbike and ride it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They've got so much energy, but they don't know how to use it. Mm. I'm yeah, my house for 200 gyms, doing my business, and someone I'm says, do this, do that. I'll be like... Yeah. 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 It'd be right, it's it's really not no, I know. Uh, no, but they don't know that we're here to help. Also, yes. everything we're saying is complete speculation. But they have the energy, they have this and they have that. I know, but if you're trying to look at both sides... No, I think you're sceptical, oh, because that's why you still be open minded oh, if there is someone in there. Yeah, so you have to play along with it and yeah. do the same time. Oh, you've still got oh yeah, I'm not saying I agree or disagree. No, no, no. Uh, but you've still got to ask the question. So if you did say, for instance, we're not here to harm you, we're here to talk to you and you get a reaction, then we Intrigued by the apparent glass movement, we decided to move to another room and continue with this alleged communication. Yeah, I know it's empty here. Mm. Yeah, it's trying. Yeah. Come on, if that's you, thank you very much. Can you try and move it again, please? I know it's not a very uh, good surface. Nails only, no. guys. Nails only. And that's uncomfortable. Come on. Is this your bedroom? Can you move the glass if it is? Come on. Is this your private room? Forgot you say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Oh, well done, girls. <laughs> Yeah, there she's we go. She's in here. Oh, it's thank it's you very much. It does keep tipping. Well done, that's fantastic. Well done. That's my finger. Can you hear that? That's my finger. That's my finger shaking. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's my finger. Yeah, yeah. That's my finger. Oh, 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 that's what? Stop it! No, what? Did you take a I got it. it was I got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's just sliding off really easily. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I wonder if it would move with nothing. We're going down to the cellar. Oh dear. The next vigil of the night. Shall I, I set the camera yeah, up at the end? Outside, yeah, and coming down this way. Yeah, I'll just sort it out. So what are we going to do here, then? I'm not I'm soldiers. Too. I'm seeing soldiers. Well, ability. Actually, I don't know what that means. Can I, can I say this was actually a World War One hospital thing? Oh, was it? Yeah. That will seem very likely, very much like Peterborough Museum was. Right. So, so please come forward. We'll have a look into that. Keeping them apart in the cellar, I wanted to see what both Mandy and Rosie separately could pick up in the boiler room. But I feel like there's some sort of like paperwork that was kept down here and hidden away and there was people that didn't want other people to know where it was, like secret documents or plans or something like that. And that's connected with the war in some way. But I don't know whether it's first. It feels more like, did you say first world war? Because I feel like it's more like second world war. Second world war. Basically, so good at Document storage place and like, um, Are you talking about secret war files or? Um, uh, yeah, something like that. Maybe some planning or some sort of place for. Maybe the Americas might be. I don't know anything about hmm. all this stuff, but it's like. Um, Maybe the Americas were based here. I think I heard something, I'm not sure. It was English people, but the, the play, this house, this building, was taken from its owners against their wishes almost. Like they said, no, we need your house. Yeah, okay. That'd be um, I don't know if that's something that they yeah, would That did happen. That did happen. Well, part of the history here. It said in 1942, Stanmere House was requisitioned by the War Office, and in 1946, Stanmere House was bought by the Brighton Corporation. So it was requisitioned, which is right, it was taken over basically, which you. You hit the nail on the head. Well done. So, that's all I've got at the moment. In wow. this, so it might be worth looking at. Well done, Mandy. Nice one. Nice one. I've just bought um, Rosanna in.
just going to say she picks up anything in the same room as well. Can't shout the name Bob. Bob. Yeah, I'm Bob. Why do you want to change? Why do you want to shout? Do you know what name? I can see? I can see Blackadder go forth. Environment. You know when they're all down in the trenches and all in there. That's what I I feel. I mean, God knows why, because they wouldn't be in the trenches around here. But it just feels like black blackadder go forth. Different accents. I get a lot of American accents. Probably more so American than English. You know, oh my God, do you know what it's like? It's like a band of brothers. Um, it's that sort of, you know when the English came over, mm -hmm. um, the Americans came over, and they use this as like a, a, a base of some sort. Like That's all I can put it. Band Brothers. Well, like a military base. Forth. Not a military base as such. It's like a retreat. It's like... It's like where... It's like on the, on the Band of Brothers. I don't know if you've ever watched Band I of Brothers. I did. Love their great theories. Fab. It, you know when they all, they all went to Europe and they did all their, their stint and everything and then towards the end of Band of Brothers they all came back to England and... You know, they all stayed in these places mm. just to recuperate, um, uh, to sort out injuries, to sort out it, th their brains full stop. And then you've got like the commanders that are moving up, being ranked, and you've got like the big soldiers upstairs. And... But that's how I can describe it, Band of Brothers. Blackadder go forth. <laughs> but American. With some of the spiral team exploring another part of the house, I joined Alison and John during some interesting communication using a voice recorder. Talk to us again, even tell us your name through the voice recorder. Make it flash. Are you, are you a servant here? Please use the voice recorder and make the light flash if you're a servant here. I... Sorry, <laughs> I interrupt you. Okay, are you one of the Pelhams? If so, can you make it flash again? Okay. Thank you very much, really appreciate that. The other interesting thing, it's not flashing when we're not asking questions. Mm. No, it's pausing. Yeah, pausing. Very interesting. Can I just last off this, sorry, insulting it, there are fresh batteries. Thank you. But then it just comes back on and stays on, that's interesting. Mm. Well, I'm going to change the batteries again in a minute, just to... Just for yeah, yeah just to sort of yeah. eliminate any other... Does yeah, anybody else want to ask the man a question? <laughs> We're going to win the don't lottery. Don't spoil it, we'll do so well, we? Yeah. <laughs> this is really good, yeah, don't, you're, you're doing fine. Can you do well. less than yeah. five flashes? Yeah. Please. Can I, I ask if... That, sorry, if, go sorry no, um, go ahead, Mark. I just want to try and quick... Uh, if that's you making the device flash, can you please, I'm sorry to make you ask to do it again, just for my sceptical head, unfortunately. Um, could you just do it again, please? Could you just flash the light if that is you doing it before, when answering Alison's questions? Be very grateful. Oh, you're doing so well. Thank you. So I'm going to ask, are you going to follow us around downstairs in the basement? <laughs> Not sure, mm. I think I've pulled. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you ever so we much. Love, 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 love. <laughs> Moving on, Darren and I join Alison and John back down in the cellar. The voice would call a light flash, please. Just with the batteries changed, John. Mm -hmm. Yeah, new batteries. In. Oh, Thank no, you no. very much. Oh, it's going to sound really strange because it's mm -hmm. in the basement, but I felt horses, horses, and 
I saw a little boy leading a horse, so <coughs> I don't know, the, a basement, I find that a bit odd. Check for really for spirit, it's really for checking yeah, for it. electromagnetic fields, yeah. getting off by um, power cables, hospitals, yeah. that sort of thing. It makes you feel nauseous, it can make you see things that are not actually there. So it's to rule it out more than anything. But people say that it's actually it can actually spirits can actually manifest from it if it's high, trying to talk to you. But it's just it's just theory. But the main reason is there's been experiments been proven that actually does cause people who've been hit with low magnetic um, field, fields actually they do hallucinate and feel nauseous. Mm. So and the same thing. Can but also I am actually getting. Number and I can't tell you how many. But there's a few over there, but they're standing way back. I rejoined the team in one of the top rooms for the last vigil of the night. Our evening at Stanmer House drew to a close, and there was much to reflect upon from the night's events. When we first arrived, Mandy picked up on the name Edwin Verrill, and this is interesting as it relates to a family connection with Mandy and a previous investigation in 2009 at Anne of Cleves House in nearby Lewis. On that investigation, we discovered that the Verrill family, who lived in Lewis and the house for many years, are Mandy's stepfather's ancestors. Edwin Verrill was a previously unknown ancestor, and it was later discovered he was a great-great-uncle who lived from 1809 to 1846. And a woman who lived here, her family were here, and her first name begins with a Z. And it's a weird name, like, it sounds like it should be, or looks like in my head it should be Zaire, but it's not something similar. The woman could be Kazaya Pelham, who married Edwin Verrill in the 19th century. In the weeks that followed, further research and fresh documentation for Mandy's family in the United States has resulted in Edwin and Kazaya being added to the family tree. The glasswork on the top floor had been interesting, with apparent movement, and although we replicated the experiment later, we did not produce the same results. We'll let you decide. Patricia and a few others also commented about sensing a little girl in this room and asking the security guard Ray, he confirmed she had been reported before. Both Rosie and Mandy identified the house's use during World War II and had no knowledge of the building prior to coming here. Indeed, Mandy thought we were travelling to Stan Moore in Middlesex. The communication with the voice recorder was interesting and the light on the device seemingly only flashed when questions were asked. Although new batteries were installed prior to the investigation, John did change them over with fresh ones, and the apparent communication continued for quite some time. On separate occasions in one of the top floor rooms, both Alison and Mandy picked up on a disabled child, who was apparently hidden away from the rest of the house. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any historical evidence to confirm this. All in all, it was a very interesting evening at Stanmer House, and it's always intriguing to explore somewhere that's never been investigated before. Stanmer House had provided some intriguing information that was backed up by further research and we thank investigators of paranormal phenomena for the chance to explore this fine building. <laughs>